Hey guys, welcome back. So today we're going to talk about what happens when you're really outnumbered and some tactics you can use to make sure you survive. Uh, we're going to use Solo Steve today to help us with this lesson. And this will be a part of the Mountain Blade beginning series. Kind of something good to know, especially if you're out on your own. In this case, assume that you've lost all your army. All you have is some NPCs. Uh, this is an NPC army that I have here with another Let's Play, so don't worry about it. But very easy to see that you That's a nice head really are going to be shoulders. screwed going 30, 34 to 8. Okay, so what we need to do first is remember that most of my guys have ranged. We need to use as much range as possible uh, and try our best to stay out uh, and away from uh, the the army. As, as, there they are. They're, they're charging. You see them way over there? So if you can, grab out whatever you got for range and just start getting in there. Uh, what I usually roll is a couple stacks of arrows and uh, like a pole or something long because I want that reach. Because the further I am away from my guy, the better. Come on. Come on. How can I freaking miss? If you can, try to take out any of the ranged as fast as possible, because the ranged will be the ones giving you the most problems. Uh, so I would definitely focus down ranged. Uh, so anybody with a bow and arrow in their hand right now is a big problem. I'm not so concerned about... Um, not overly concerned about the majority of these guys. I'm really concerned about those guys, um, as you'll see soon. So assume like our guys are going down pretty quick, and a lot of these guys have stuff like javelins or uh, similar things. All right, so what we need to start doing is we're not in a good place. We are going to be losing most of our crew pretty quickly. Which leaves just me. So here's what we're going to do. We need to start grabbing everybody. There we go. I need you. There we go. That's a tactic you can use if you need to. Uh, it's pretty risky, but it can work. So we are basically alone. So what you need to remember is these guys do have some throwing or ranged weapons, which would be bad for us. Never approach them in a straight line, ever. You will lose. Uh, there are two tactics we can use here. One is we can exhaust those arrow guys, or the archers, with uh, by having them shoot all their arrows. Remember, they only have a stack of arrows, which is about 30. I don't have a shield. Like, I play without a shield. Um, so what we can do is, there we go, we'll run him down, uh, remember if you lose a horse you're basically screwed, so we don't want to lose that horse, um, so what we're going to do is, I've just been trying to identify the outlier, see that mass to the right, what we're trying to do is make sure that that mass is for kind of far away from us right now. And we're going to take out just the outliers. See that guy was out by himself? That's like another guy out by himself too. There we go. Just got to keep it up. You don't want to... Definitely remember, don't run in straight lines at him if you can avoid it. Um, early on, the nice part is at least our horses have a little bit more hit points. Uh, because they just haven't taken a lot of damage. But later on, that could be a problem. So there's one. There we go. Alright, so you see that? He was trying... You need to wait until almost the end. Um, and then the NPCs will actually open themselves up because they're going to go and try to swing. As soon as they try to swing, that's your time. That's when you go shine and kick that guy right in the scrotum. Alright, let's get a little closer. I want to see if... There. Okay. So, did you guys see the timing there? 
you don't want to be attacking immediately. You want to hold it for a bit, then attack. Okay? You'll get used to that, the timing. Uh, nice part about having a pole arm is 180 reach. Okay, that's pretty nice when you're in a situation like this. As you can see, they're not throwing anything, they're not shooting anything. That means they have expended all of their ammo, and now we are good. So we are going to bring them down into a more flat area. Um, the reason you want to bring them into a flattish area is simply for the fact that now we're going to be trying to just plank them off. So you see what I'm doing because I'm going for their feet. Because they can't reach... The, their shields can't be... are not able to reach their feet. So you can shoot them in the feet if you have enough arrows. There we go. So they're nice and lined up. Just keep a little eye beat in front of you. So you aim for those feet. At least while you still have arrows. As soon as you run out of arrows, then we have a different one. Then we have to go to the ball. So we pretty much roughed these guys up pretty good before. So it's, that's why we're basically able to like one shot most of them. But you gotta be real careful where you shoot. So you wanna hit those, the feet. Otherwise you hit those big shields. <coughs> it's pretty much game over. Okay, so we got eight, seven, oopsie, hit that shield. Now they're starting to ball up a little bit. I want them in a nice line, because if you get them in a line when you're doing this, it's really easy. Okay, so there you go. That's an example of why you gotta be a little situationally aware. You hit one of those rocks and you're backing up, you just don't have enough room in order to really do anything. So again, let's bring them over. Over here. If one runs away, that's fine. We've got a lot of kills already. And frankly, if some of them route away, that's just less I gotta deal with. So we wanna make sure they're nice and kinda bunched together. There we go, because if you spread out like that, that's bad. So we wanna take them one at a time. There, that's the solo guys, let's look for them. Excellent. Okay, see how they're all bunching up? And that guy on the far left is now exposed. That's what we want. We want them to peel off, like that guy right there on the left. Perfect. The second they peel off one to one, you got a chance. In the group, you have a too much of a chance of somebody just fucking wrecking your balls. Uh, not in a good way, of course, in a bad way. Because if you get stopped up in that big wide, you're going to have three or four or five people beating on your horse and beating on you. That is bad. There we go. There's an outlier. Okay. So we want to be very careful. We're starting to let them spread a little too much. Here we go. Just keep pulling them together. And then as you keep passing, one will peek out. And then that's our opportunity because I just don't have any ranged. Now, if you can get them bunched up like this, you can start getting in closer. Right? that will generally pop one out. There you go, now they're fleeing. And then they go, oh no fleeing, bro. Oop. Gotta use that reach to your advantage. That, this is a balanced pull axe, and this thing has 180 reach. It's a linear one, at least when it's on the horse, but, and like normal too, I don't think there's even a two-hander of this one. Uh, but, as you can see, that reach helps quite a bit. There we go, one more. See, it might be a little bit boring, but remember, the point of this is not to be, like, crazy, whatever. You're trying to just survive. Because when you're the only one left, if you lose, you're basic, it's basically GG, right? So we don't need that. Plus, if you get good at stuff like this, uh, you can pretty easily win a lot of battles because you can just let your team generally win and then just go in and mop up. It's good for low game, especially if you're starting out and you don't have the money for a big army. Uh, 
then you can put the money into like your NPCs. There we go. That's a time when I don't really mind as much jumping in there. Oh. He's running. Let's just go for the one. We already know he's pretty hurt. We can shift to the left. Here he is. Be careful, because just because they're running away does not mean they're going to stop and just, like, give you the win. There it is. So, to review real quick while we're still on the battlefield. Initially, try to be in a position so you can use whatever range you have uh, at the time to just try to do picks. Um, and don't rush in there, because if you charge in there with your crew... What'll happen is that it'll spearhead, but the problem is you get a wrap. Those people who initially got in there will get screwed, and you're going to be losing troops faster than you could if you charge as a unit. So bring them in as close as you can. Try to get as many as you can. Then, after everyone's charging, try to pick off ranged. Try to pick those archers off if you can while they're still trying to shoot at other people. Um... Because that's what you really ideally want. Because if the archers are trying to like focus down your remaining army, that's the time where you come in there and just pew pew and knock those guys out as much as possible. Then, if the other army, like these guys, the seed raiders, have uh, throwing weapons, you want to always be doing circles. Okay, always be doing circles around them. Uh, if if you do not do circles around them, then you're gonna get nailed by the uh, the throwing weapon, which is a bad thing. So you constantly don't don't ever attack in a straight line. Um, then after a while, right, as we saw, uh, most of them will run out of ammo and they'll run out of throwing weapons. And at that point, realistically, you have it. As long as you can keep your horse, you're good. Um, try to ball them up, right? Just do big circles, ball them up, and then just pick off the ones that fall out of the circle. If you can do that, you'll be fine. And that's how you take care of a big army when you're a really small one. How to survive an ambush. Okay? Because basically that's what it is, is a big ambush. Uh, so, anyways, if you guys thought that was useful, hit that like button. It really shows support and lets me know that you enjoy the video. Um, and if you made it this far, put down, oh my god, ambush in the comments below. All right, guys. Talk to you guys a little later. See ya.